Uh, next thing I'm going to tackle is this uh, ceiling on the inside. Just right in the back is where it's got the water damage. I looked at that before. It's right there. And uh, I think to the right of that seam feels solid, but we'll see what it looks like when I get that torn out. I'm hoping that I can salvage the white what looks sort of like a wallpaper type material. It feels kind of um, plastic and um, I'm hoping I can salvage that and uh, put that back on the new board that I put up there. I'm getting ready to tear this ceiling out. See what kind of damage is under here so I can replace that. So after I cut that section of ceiling out, this is what's left. You can tell that there is also a layer of the plywood uh, stuck to most of the ceiling still. And um, it's probably okay in most of the most of this area uh, that's not damaged. But I'll get all that off that I can. I'll definitely get this part off that looks like it um, needs to come off. Um, may have to actually uh, replace a piece of this um, framing right in the ceiling there, possibly up here as well. I have to come back um, a little bit farther on this if this is if this is soft. So that's what I'm gonna work on next. After I got this section of ceiling down, uh, I started looking at the next section and the roof vent right there and realized that um, this is also in need of repair, so I'm gonna have to do it, take another section down. I think it's gonna go all the way back to this rail right here. There's a seam, which I've already taken down the, the cover of that seam. So I'm gonna have to go around all of this with a knife and cut that edge down and then take the whole thing down. Uh, there's quite a bit of uh, rotten right in here, so if you get all that down and look at the structure of the ceiling um, and make sure that's good, repair it if it needs to be, and then I'm also going to try to salvage this uh, the white covering so I can put that back up. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. So in getting this next section of ceiling down, uh, it came down with some of the spray-in foam insulation, which is okay because um, I will I will just put some styrofoam insulation back up in there to replace that. Uh, I'm just glad to get it down. And it came down uh, with with a lot of work. It came down in one piece, um, with the exception of this little section over here. I went ahead and cut it across there because it was went right by the edge of that vent right there and uh, I'll just put a strip of trim, a little thin strip of white trim across there when I put that back up. I still have to get this little section out right here uh, and I think that's all the ceiling I'm going to have to take out. All right, working on this ceiling um, over here above the door near the edge, near the wall here, um, had some rotted timber, some, some rotted framing. Uh, this part all up in here I've pulled out and it was um, rotted two by two. And um, so, and, and the ends of these two ceiling joists right here are, are black and rotting away. So. 
Uh, I'm going to cut these off back where some good wood is and um, then I'm going to um, build this back in here. You can see where I think the what caused it was those holes right there, those four holes is where the, the ladder attaches on the top and um, there's that and then right here I don't know if you can see those, there's four more holes right there. I've taken the ladder off, but that's probably where the water was coming through and where it did all that damage. So uh, what I'm gonna do is um, build back in there uh, some, some new wood for those screws to go into so it'll be um, sturdy. That ladder can go in there and be sturdy. And uh, go ahead and uh, put new wood um, all up in there and uh, bring it back and attach it to the sides of these um, so it'll all be tied in together good so it'll take a little time but I need to go ahead and do that I'm continuing to work on the ceiling here and um, I meant to get a, a shot of this before I started covering it up but uh, I forgot to but you can see a little bit right here um, of where I had to go in there and um, build out some new framing up in there uh, and replace some of that rotted wood so I did that underneath this sheet that I just put up and uh, got some new insulation in here to replace some of that sprayed in that came down when I pulled the ceiling down so uh, then I got this one piece put in and uh, it's just some birch paneling like I used on the other camper on the Frolic. But on this one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paint it. I'm going to paint it white. Uh, what I've decided to do is um, all the new ceiling that I put up, I'm going to paint. And I'm also going to paint what's already here. It's this uh, sort of a vinyl looking uh, covering on this ceiling. So... Um, I've already put some kills on some of it just to test it out and I think it, it's going to look okay so it'll end up the whole ceiling will be painted a one solid color so um, next is just uh, cutting out the rest of this ceiling and getting it put in place and um, trimming out around the edges and around the seams and then um, then I'll start painting Got this first section of ceiling up and working on laying out the next section. When I took this part down here, uh, I, I didn't think I was going to have to take as much off, so I ended up stopping right along here and I cut that there, but um, I realized I was going to have to go a little bit farther, and so I, I took the rest of it off. And uh, so I've got those pieces laid out here outside and um, got those laid on my board. I'm going to trace those off and also measure as I go in case I, uh, in case just the irregularity of the vinyl it makes it not measure exactly right. So. I'll uh, measure and draw it off and hopefully I can get that piece uh, put in in one, one piece as it goes back in. Alright, I've got this drawn off and uh, I'm going to cut around here and probably just cut the edges out and um, probably leave the, the middle for the vent, probably leave that to last and measure and make sure I got that correct. So I've got this birch plywood put in the sit on the ceiling and uh, so next thing to do on the ceiling is going to be to put 
put some kills on the original ceiling toward the front uh, and then go ahead and paint all of it um, white or an off-white color uh, so it'll all match. I got this original strip, a uh, trim strip, put back up here but um, I made the other one out of pine and when I went to nail it up with this pneumatic stapler it, uh, it, it split it. It was too thin and too soft so I found some poplar that was came from some trim on our house and uh, I made a new one and I made it a little bit thicker and uh, so maybe being out of poplar and thicker it won't uh, splinter it like that. We'll see. Got this other trim piece up. I made it a little bit thicker, made it out of some poplar so it held up a little better and uh, it went up fine. So getting ready to start painting and I'm going to paint the, the new wood uh, actually using kills. I'm going to go over that um, on the new wood and then on the existing ceiling and uh, probably get a couple of coats on that and then we'll decide on what kind of paint we're going to put on there. And once I get it all painted then I'll come back and uh, do the trim around here with some cove. I'll probably stain it first and then uh, put that up uh, all the way around. Alright, I got the ceiling painted, got the vent cover back on, and uh, put um, kills on both the new ceiling and the original ceiling, and uh, then went over it with some high hide flat white paint, and uh, it turned out pretty well. Next project here is to work on this bathroom ceiling. The bathroom ceiling is going to have to come down most of it and that skylight vent come out and um, it's it's leaking. It was leaking just the other day so I'm going to have to fix all that uh, leak and then get the ceiling redone in the bathroom. 